Any favorites from the five books that followed in the series and any advice for aspiring authors looking to start their own? The demon books I sort of modeled after cozy mysteries in that regard because there's an overarching threat, which is demons are in our world and they're doing nasty things. Um, but then each book has its own core mystery. You know, why are the demons here now? What is it that the demons want? So each book is almost like, you know, a little TV series or something. And then the next season is, you know, oh yeah, now there's a new big bad and, you know, we're moving on and on and on. So that makes that structure work out well. But within the context of that, the characters are growing and changing. And so there's also a character arc that sweeps through the whole thing. Like I'm, I'm putting out the seventh book next year um, and, and, you know, and it will have not that much time's passed, which is interesting when you live in a hugely technological world and the world was not nearly as technological when you started it. So Kate lives in this sort of hinterland of not exactly us, but, you know, they've got an iPhone now. So, you know, they've, they've advanced a little bit. Um, but but you, you, a lot changes over the course of revelations about what you know why the characters are the way they are changes and as their personalities grow as her world becomes bigger um so you have that now if you're doing a series that's more um episodic where you're going to spin off each character you know like that like it's very popular in romance where you'll have you know a family and the series is the family and then all the brothers get their story or something like that that's going to be slightly different because you don't need a big over you might have a big overarching mystery going on you know what's happening in the family but you don't need it as much you can and sometimes readers even prefer not to have it they just want to go see those characters that they met in the other books and they want to be able to come in at any point so maybe they don't want the overarching question where if you have to start at book one and read all the way to the end to get them they'd rather hop around and read this guy because he's a navy seal but they don't want to read this guy because he's a banker you know um so it really depends a lot on the kind of series that you're doing but i mean the heart of it is that the characters are key the characters have to be key